turned out to be a pretty good morning, actually. I was checking the weather forecast last night, and it was saying, like, steady 8 knots, gusting 10 on windy, and then on uh, the other models, it was saying 3 gusting. Oh, I see balloons. So that's a good sign. Whenever you see balloons when you're flying, that means that's a good omen. Because when the balloons are up, they're picking weather windows of when there's like next to nail wind. So for us paramotor guys, that is a good sign. Kind of north of town, right there is Lake Pleasant. So I've been led to believe. And uh, yeah, we're for an early morning flight. Like I said on the ground, I was checking the weather forecast. It was borderline. I almost didn't come. And it was right, like it's, uh, it's upper end. But I thought, well, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, man. So might as well make the trek. I'll come out, see if I can fly it. If anything, I'll just make it a short flight. But I see these balloons here, so I'm thinking it can't be all that bad. So I'm gonna make my way towards these balloons. Stay out of their way, but I'll say hi. Take you in the early morning flying. On my way down here, I was thinking, you know, obviously with the popularity of uh, Tucker God's channel. It caters to the younger crowd. And us guys who are north of 40, north of 45, uh, it, it can see how it could kind of be intimidating to watch these young guys and see them ripping around and doing their thing. And I thought, you know what, man, like the rest of us who are, uh, are wise in our years, is that a polite way to say it? are not excluded from this because it is absolutely obtainable. As long as you're in decent physical condition and willing to put in the work, the rewards are awesome. We're also, I think, a little bit ahead of the game because financially we're probably a little bit more stable than the younger clan. You know, like myself, you know, my kids are, are leaving the nest, so to speak, and it frees up my time. It frees up some money that I can uh, start to spend some, some money on some toys for the big boys. You know what I'm saying? So as you guys are doing your research out there online and, and uh, hopefully not making the assessment that, oh, this is a young man's game, it's absolutely not. And I encourage you to uh, pursue your dreams. If your dream of aviation has always been there, like most people who get into this, you wanna fly, I encourage you to seek out pilots in your area, talk to some people, find a, a, a local school that's close to you, that's something really important to think about. You know, I have people contact me quite often from across the country who say they want to come and train. You know, I think that's awesome. It's great that they want to come out. But realistically, especially in Canada, you know, you've got to have either the money to travel to go back and forth or a school that's relatively close to you uh, so that you can to get it done. The realistic expectation flying up where we are is that we can't fly every day. And uh, it has to be selected upon for the, for the right weather conditions. That means that realistically your training is going to be spread out 
to somewhere around eight weeks because you'll have to come back and forth. What I really suggest is that if people come, learn how to kite, I gotta get, get out of this crap there. Hold on. The view up here is absolutely amazing. Gotta say that. You know, the air's a little choppy. We'll push on through for a little bit. Look at the view. Wow. There's Phoenix over there. The, the, the Phoenix Valley. Nice, beautiful gray haze over the city. Gross. But the mountains around here are quite spectacular, actually. All right. What was I saying? Ah, yes. For us guys who are getting senior... Ah, for us guys who are getting wise in our years and looking to get into this, the realistic expectation is that, you know, uh, as we're as you get a little older, it's not impossible to teach an old dog new tricks. It's not. It just takes a little bit more time. And so, and it takes a little bit more patience. And so if you go into this with the expectation that you're going to go and do three days of training and you're going to come out flying, it's not going to happen. But if we go in with this, with the expectation that I'm going to spend the summer learning how to fly and how to fly safely, I'm going to take my time and progress at the rate that my body tells me that I should, that is a great attitude to have. And you'll be successful. So that's why I recommend to be close to uh, the school that you choose to learn from or be willing to travel You know if it means that you uh, Come in and spend a week of training Go home and practice your kiting Practice your skills Schedule another week Come back Get off the ground get some flying in Then if you need to Go back home continue on honing your skills to fly to go back to your school and finish off your training that's the right mindset to have and then look at this you can travel the country and explore in a way that so few are able to it's unbelievable like I feel like a kid still every time I come up here and fly the rewards are unbelievable so from people from 14 right on up, specifically to guys who are at that stage in their life where, you know, you got the time, you got the money, you got the desire, just do it, man. Yep. Here we are, sky high above the Arizona desert. Enjoy the sights from up here. What do you think? Is this awesome or what? That's what I'm talking about. Even though it's a long way down. Whoa! It's pretty worth it, Dad. It's pretty worth it. Alright, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this flight. I'll let you guys take in the scenery from the first person point of view. And, uh, you know, as always, if you like them, just click the like button, guys. So from the Arizona desert, fly safe. Take care. There's a lot of balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lucky number thirteen. 
Yeah, that's our lucky number. Well, I think that's as close as I'm gonna get to these balloons. I have no idea what this is. It almost looks like a shooting range. I think they missed, uh, looks like for a ski shooting range. Get out of the way, yeah, I think. Mean, like a ski shooting range. Yeah. Stay out of the way of flying bullets. Who would have thought? They're waving. That's a good sign. Oh shit. Plane right there. Never saw that guy. I'm gonna dump a little altitude. That guy was a little close, man. It's really what you got to be careful of, you know? Like, we go so slow and we're so small, you can't assume that anybody's going to see you up here. They can see you from the ground, but other pilots, that plane, I'm pretty sure he had no idea I was here. Something to keep in mind, my friends. Okay, that was a fun fly. Yeah, that was good.